question guys are you tired of the glue and the got to be are you tired of trying to blend your leave out with your you part wig are you tired of all the blow drying hot combing guess what i got you today we are going to be trying out this eye part wig no lace no glue no plucking no bleaching little to no leave out necessary guys What's up guys, this is your girl Kwanda. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Shout out to ilikehair.com for sending me this eye part curly wig. I am in love with the color of their packaging. So really quickly, I'm just showing you everything that was in the packaging. Of course, you have your wig and they give you a goodie bag like most um, hair companies do. So here I'm just showing you guys the eye part wig and the texture of it straight out of the box. And I'm also go going to be showing you the inside construction. It comes with five clips that you can see and then it comes with the two little combs on the side. It did come with one that was loose but of course I can easily just sew that. This is the conditioner that I use for my leave-in, the macadamia line. This is literally my favorite conditioner. I use it on my real hair. So of course I co-washed it, let it air dry a little bit, and then I'm just going in with my easy detangler brush and I'm making sure I detangle it. And right now is going to be the time where I'm trying to de define my curls and get them to pop. So my first impression, I literally love the density. It's so thick and luscious and full. And it already seems like it has layers added into it. So I don't really have to do anything. The only thing that I probably will do is frame, um, you know, the hair around my face because that is kind of long and I want it to be a little bit shorter. So I probably will cut that. But as far as the rest of the hair, I mean, you could go in and add layers if you wanted to but for me personally I don't think I'm going to I like it just the way it is of course it's probably like 80% dry so once it's fully dry or 100% dry I'm sure it's gonna get bigger and poofier and I love big hair so before I show you guys some other styles some other ways that you can style it I'm going to go into detail as far as how many inches and all of that this is called the no leave out I part curly wig so you have different options either you can do no leave out or a thin leave out 
So as far as the density, it is 150% density. The length is 20 inches. So it comes right about here, which is right at, yeah, it definitely seems like it's 20 inches. Of course, it's curly hair. So the shrinkage is gonna be real when it comes to curly hair. It comes in a natural black color. Online, I am seeing that only that it only comes in one length, which is 20 inches for this particular wig. And it's the standard medium size. So I have a big head. So I'm going to let y'all know that this, this eye part wig is definitely big head friendly. I did not have any issues at all. Um, as far as the sizing, it's a perfect fit. It does come with the adjustable strap if you wanted to add that, sew that on, or do whatever you want to do. It doesn't perfectly match my hair type. I think my hair type, I'm going to take a guess and say it's probably more on the, between 3B and 4A, I guess. I don't know. It's really a guess because I tell y'all all the time that I do not know my curl type. It's just that whole curl chart is confusing to me. I do not know. But I'm going to take a guess and say I'm I'm more towards a 3B, 3C, possibly 4A. Um, these are tighter curls, so I'm going to say that this is probably like a 4B curl pattern. Y'all, I am so shook because I don't even have any leave out and my hair is straight. My hair is not even... Um, and it's curly texture right now. One thing you definitely want to do when it comes to putting this wig on and making it look natural is making sure the clips are as close to um, your part as possible. Okay, so I did go in and add framing layers just to frame my face um, because that was a little bit too long for me, for my preference. Um, you do not have to cut it if you don't want to, but I did just to, you know, give it some shape around my face. The thing that I really love the most about this wig, like on a day like today where it's raining outside, so it's probably not the best for me to wear my hair straight. So I'm going to leave this on and go do the things that I need to do, run my errands or whatever. It doesn't really matter how your hair is, whether you're wearing your hair straight or curly, I feel like you can definitely pull this off either way. It's definitely going to be for my ladies who are looking into wearing wigs or maybe do not like, you know, the look of wigs or the work that it takes to apply wigs. And trust me, I totally understand that. When it comes to hair and anything in life, the best thing is convenience. Convenience, convenience, convenience. And I feel like this wig is very innovative and convenient. This is something new to me. Um, so it's probably going to be something new to you guys. You know, I've worn you part wigs before. And this is definitely something different. You know, you don't even have to leave any leave out if you don't want to. I definitely love that option for my people who are looking for protective styles. This is a great protective style if you do not want to deal with lace and glue and all that comes with lace front wigs or closure wig. Very beginner friendly for my people who do not have any experience with wearing wigs or experience with gluing down wigs. This is going to be the best option out there for you whether you are natural transitioning trying to grow your hair out whatever your hair is going through whatever transition you're going through when it comes to your hair it features true roots closure which matches the roots of your hair so if your hair is in its natural curly state this will definitely match um and line up with your roots to give you the most natural install possible without all the work. Also, you're going to be leaving out 99 to 100% less hair than you would a U-part wig. So on their website, I did see that they have straight wigs available as well as curly wigs like I'm wearing now. So I have noticed when it comes to wearing U-part wigs, especially if you're wearing straight wigs, of course, you're going to have to add heat to your real hair to your leave out. This is going to take away you having to add any heat, any products to your hair. Like I said, you really, literally, real deal can just pop this on and go. 
the good thing about wearing this curly wig you do not have to braid your hair down if you do not want to you see all I did was do two little braided pigtails cross them together threw on my wig cap and that's if you want to you don't have to wear a wig cap that's optional the only reason I did that was just to protect my hair from the friction of course as time goes on and I wear this wig more um, especially on a daily basis I will let you guys know how it is I'll do a follow-up video letting you guys know if it tangles if it mats up but for now straight out the box after co-washing it and doing all that I've done to it it feels great and it's holding up great so I love it 10 out of 10 I would recommend so again this wig is called the I part wig or a thin lace wig very similar to a U part wig I'm going to show you guys some different options in a minute. Right now I'm wearing it with no leave out and my hair underneath is straight. But I am going to go in and wet my hair and show you guys the difference in that as well. So next I'm going to go in I'm going to show you guys a side part. find yourself having a hard time um you know making it blend of course you can go in and tease or do whatever you please to do i do think this is more so made for a middle part because as you can see this side um is longer than this side now since i put it on the side but you can definitely finesse it and make it work oh. All right, y'all, so for my next and my last style, this is literally all the leave out that I have. And I went in and went my hair, which is barely anything compared to wearing a U-part wig. This is my hair with just a very minimal amount of leave out. I definitely feel like you could get away with doing little styles with this too. If you take the time to actually do it. Let me know what you guys think or your thoughts about this eye wig. Let me know if this is something that you will wear or something that you're interested in. Make sure you give this video a huge like. Definitely make sure you are subscribed if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video.